The Grace Hotel, located in the heart of the city of Sydney, midway between Circular Quay to the north and Haymarket to the south, the Domain and Royal Botanic Gardens to the east, and Darling Harbour and King Street Wharf to the west, is one of the landmark heritage buildings in the city. The Grace Hotel as you see it today is not how it was originally conceived. Although the building appears perfectly suited to that purpose. The story of the Grace Building began in 1926. Construction of the Harbour Bridge was well underway and the site of the building was acquired by two brothers, Albert and Joseph Grace. Up until then, the space had been occupied by a number of small businesses including Sydney's very first opera house. Central to the CBD, the location was thought to be perfect. Close to the new Wynyard Station and people coming across the New Harbour Bridge and also convenient to other Sydney landmarks like the Queen Victoria Building and the Town Hall. With the arrival of the railway in 1926 at nearby Hyde Park and St James, businesses began to flourish. The brothers engaged the architects Morrow and Gordon and work began on what would later become the Grace Hotel. They were inspired by the neo-gothic style of the Chicago Tribune building, which had opened the year before. They wanted height and grandeur. At the time there was a 150 foot height limit on habitable space in the city. It was as high as fire brigade ladders could go. To overcome this and to create some grandeur for the building, an idea was to construct a radio tower on the top of the building, similar to what was done 10 years later on the AWA tower nearby. But eventually they chose to construct a more prominent masonry tower on the corner of York and King Street. The continuous awning surrounding the building with its pressed metal ceiling is a clear sign of the building's commercial past as it protected window shoppers and the large display windows from both the sun and the rain. In fact, all over the building are telltale signs indicating the Grace Hotel's commercial history. None clearer than the balustrade of the mezzanine where prospective retail customers could be enticed to the upper level for more shopping. The remaining floors were to be leased as state-of-the-art offices. When the building opened, it was proudly proclaimed, gone are the dingy offices where poor clerks spent their lives in semi-obscurity and in their place are spacious, well-lighted and ventilated offices, which are really homes away from home. With the arrival of the Second World War and the building being almost empty, the building was requisitioned by the government for military purposes. When the war was over, the building remained in the hands of the government and it was used for various government departments, including a post office and the Film Censorship Board, among others. It was in 1995 that the current owners, the Lao Yat Group, bought the building from the government and began adapting it for reuse as the 380 room Deluxe International Hotel. They have been meticulous in the restoration of the building in order to bring her back to her original status. The direction from the client has been to perform works to the highest standard we possibly can. This is to ensure the longevity of the building for many more years to come. One of the key features of the building is its glazed terracotta tiled facade, which was considered a great luxury at the time, since most buildings were being constructed from local sandstone. To perform this part of the restoration has required the replacement of one and a half thousand tiles with more than 20 different variations of lintels. A critical stage of this undertaking is to make sure that we find replacement terracotta lintels of an adequate quality and longevity. Under the request of the building owner, we've gone to the UK to find specialists who do this as their bread and butter. The best quality that we're able to ascertain was Darwin in the UK. Darwin Terracotta in Blackburn, England, is one of the few factories in the world where terracotta tiles can be hand molded, sculpted and tailored to any specific requirement. With clients from Sydney to New York to Montreal, the company still uses the same techniques that we used years ago when the Graves Hotel building was first built. 
roughly a three month time period between when these are ordered and when we actually are able to get access to them through both the journey by boat and sitting on dock waiting to clear through customs. And anything to do with heritage involves a fairly lengthy approval process. The client has been very understanding and patient. For the current owner's vision, their continuous care, dedication and attention to detail, Sydney owes much gratitude for the meticulous restoration of this glorious example of classic commercial Gothic architecture.